I've seen people lose jobs because they've sown destruction. I've seen people die because they sowed destruction. I've seen people lose their marriages, live in anger, frustration, depression. I've seen people that just can't seem to get traction in their life because they keep sowing destruction. This is a basic principle of God. Do you, do you guys not remember elementary school that when you weren't nice, no one wanted to be your friend? That you got picked last? Do you notice that your friend, when you were in elementary school, people didn't invite you over because of the way that you had been acting? It, it, just, it just works that way. Because pe people in, intrinsically know, like, I don't want to be a part of what that is. I want to show you this in Romans chapter 2. There's a lot of scriptures. And people say, man, you use a lot of scriptures. Yeah, because I don't want you to have my thoughts. I want you to have God's thoughts. Okay? I don't want you, I, I, I don't want you walking out of church saying, who does Matt think he is? Take it to God and ask him, who do you think you are? Yeah. See how that works for you. All right. I, on the other hand, am staking it all on the word of the Lord. Amen. Romans chapter 2, verse 1. Therefore you, I think that's for you, inex you are inexcusable, O man, whoever you are to judge, for in whatever you judge another, you condemn yourself. For you who judge, practice the same things. But we know that the judgment of God is according to truth against those who practice such things. God actually judges people that do wrong, wrong things. And do you think this, O oh man, you who judge those practicing such things, mean looking at people that are doing bad things, and then do the same, that you'll escape the judgment of God? Or do you despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance, and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? But in accordance with the hardness of your impenitent heart, you are treasuring up for yourself wrath in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who, quote, will render to each one according to his deeds eternal life to those who by patient continuance in doing good seek for glory, honor, and immortality. But to those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish on every soul of man who does evil of the Jew first and also of the Greek, but glory and honor and peace to everyone who works what is good to the Jew first and also to the Greek, for there is no partiality with God. Amen. You cannot sow thorns and expect fruit. It doesn't work. Amen. It just doesn't work. And, and, and again, I always have to say this and remind this to you guys, is that I, I come up here and I preach these sermons, and I never for one minute am, am, am trying to preach to you something that I haven't experienced as a truth in my own life. Yeah. Do you know how I know that when you sow destruction, you reap destruction? Yeah. It's because I've sown destruction in my own life. Yeah. I've made bad decisions. I've done bad things. Yeah. I've had bad thoughts and I had bad actions. And then, and then you, you turn around and, and your life is in disarray. Your, 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 your mind is all jarbled and, and everything's wrong. And, and, and you just don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. You're just like, well, yeah, this is of my own doing. But, but what do I do with it now? Like, how, how do I get out of this place? How, how do I fix what was really of my own doing? Yeah. Yeah. Can, can, you know, I'm, I need a witness. Can somebody help me out here? Yeah. You know, I talk about me, myself, and I'm sowing destruction and ruining my own life. And you guys are like, you sad, sad man. <laughs> never done that. Maybe, maybe you've never experienced that. I just, I, I'm honest enough with myself to realize that most of the destruction in my own life has been of my own doing. Yeah. No one drove into my house and picked me up. I got in the car myself and drove away. Yeah. No one put it in my hand. I put it in my own hand. Yeah. It was my own plans to destroy my, myself. Oftentimes, people are unwilling to admit the contribution to their own destruction. Sometimes sin is so grievous that our actions affect others. And then they turn on us and they want to stone us like they wanted to stone David. 